I know what you guys are thinking because I have been thinking the same thing. Hot dog out of a carrot? Really? I have seen this recipe so many different times in so many different places and every time I see people raving about it. But I just can't wrap my head around it. Like how is this not going to taste like a carrot? So I have to say my hopes are not very high for this recipe. I am hoping to be pleasantly surprised but I am very skeptical. But since I have seen so many rave reviews for it and it has been on my list of things to try for a very long time, Today, we're going to do it. I'm Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and today we're making hot dogs out of carrots. So today's recipe is from Brand New Vegan. There are actually a lot of recipes out there for these carrot dogs. Like I said, I've seen many of them before, but I decided to go with the recipe from Brand New Vegan because A, I have actually seen a lot of rave reviews for his carrot dog recipe, and B, I have made his chili before and it is so delicious. I do actually have a recipe video for that. I will leave it up here as well as in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out. Now, being that I myself am very skeptical of this recipe, I promise to give you guys my full honest review and let you know if these really do taste like hot dogs or carrots. So of course we are going to start with some carrots. The recipe says you can use anywhere from six to eight carrots. I'm just gonna use however many fit into our instant pot where we are going to both marinate and cook them. Now one tip I have seen so far about making these carrot dogs is that of course, Carrots are naturally shaped with a larger end on one side and a smaller end on the other side. So when you're taking off the skin, you can actually carve them a little bit so that they're a little bit more even and a little bit more hot dog shaped. I think that not only helps the appearance of it looking like a hot dog, but it also helps it to cook a little bit more evenly because of course, if something is really thin, then it'll cook faster. So you wanna maybe cut it here and then shave this end down until they're approximately even. So I'm just gonna wash, skin, and shape these first. Just a quick tip, as you can see, this produced a lot of extra carrot shreds. Now you could compost these, or if you cleaned them off really well to begin with, you can actually save these scraps. You can freeze them and use them to make into a veggie stock or veggie broth. Or if you just took off the outer layer first and then saved all the inside shreds, then you could actually use them in things like a salad. So just keep that in mind for your leftover carrot pieces. And now I do really like that this recipe gives options of either cooking in your Instant Pot or on the stove top. Since I have an Instant Pot, we're gonna go ahead and use that because you can marinate and cook at the same time, which is amazing. So into our Instant Pot liner, we are just going to add a quarter cup low sodium soy sauce, a quarter cup apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup vegetable broth. I'm actually using this beefless, vegan beef flavored broth for the vegetable broth. I'm hoping it will give it kind of a meaty flavor, but if you don't have this, I think any regular vegetable broth will do. Two tablespoons maple syrup, one tablespoon liquid smoke. If you guys don't have liquid smoke, you can actually use smoked paprika in its place. So in this recipe, I would just sub one for one. So instead of the one tablespoon of liquid smoke, you could use one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Or if you don't have either of these, you could just leave it out. But in my experience, adding at least one of these does enhance the flavor. And if you found this ingredient swap option helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button as it does really help out my channel and I will be very appreciative. We are also going to need one teaspoon mustard, one teaspoon minced garlic, one teaspoon jalapeno juice, and half a teaspoon onion powder. Okay, so we have our carrots and we have our marinade and it is not a lot of marinade. I actually saw in the original recipe that it says, if you have an eight quart pot, you may need to double your marinade because it's not quite enough liquid uh, for the Instant Pot to work properly. So this is just barely enough. Like my gut is telling me to add more veggie broth, but I'm just gonna leave it as is, as the original recipe states. And I think we can fit about six carrots in here. Let's see. It's a little tight, but I think it's okay. I think it'll work. So if you can fit all eight in there, great. If not, you can just do a smaller batch. I'm just swishing the marinade around a little, <laughs> just get them coated. Now just another quick tip if you are using the Instant Pot, I recently purchased some extra silicone rings for my Instant Pot liner because I noticed 
the original one that I've had since I first got this. It was starting to smell a little bit funky and I ran it through the dishwasher and everything, but I just noticed that when I cooked like sweeter things or neutral things, it would have like a little bit of a funny smell to it. So I bought the extra rings. It came in a three pack. I'll actually link them down below in case any of you guys want to check them out. I do think it's really convenient to have to switch out. Like when I make instant pot yogurt, I switch to a clean ring for neutral tasting items like grains, rice, oatmeal, things like that. I'll just use the plain clear ring. This is the new one that I got and it just pops right out. And then for stronger scented things and savory items, I like to use the older ring. And so we're just gonna use this one for the carrot dogs. Like I said, this is optional. It's just if you're doing the Instant Pot method, and it's just a little tip that I noticed can help if you're cooking both sweet and savory things in your Instant Pot. So now we're gonna cook this on high pressure for three minutes. And then after the three minutes is up, we are going to do a quick release of the pressure, which essentially is just releasing the valve on the back to let all the steam out. And then we are going to let those sit in the marinade, in the Instant Pot with the lid on for one hour. So they have just been chilling in the marinade, in the Instant Pot with everything turned off, but the lid still on. Now, I did check the texture of the carrot right away after it finished cooking because I feel that is one of my concerns about this recipe is that it's either going to be too soft of a carrot or it's going to be too firm and crunchy and will be the texture of a carrot. So I kind of poked them with a fork a little bit because I was worried that after three minutes of pressure cooking they would be too soft already, but they still felt quite firm. So I went ahead, like I said, and put the lid back on and they have just been sitting and I guess kind of continuing to cook because it's still very warm in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring them out now. Hopefully they have softened a bit more and they're feeling a little bit more like a hot dog than like a carrot. I don't know, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still skeptical. The smell is really good. Q actually came in here and was like, wow, it smells very meaty in here. So that's a good sign, but Let's just see how this goes. They are still really firm, which I don't know. It just doesn't seem like they're soft enough. I feel like maybe I could have cooked them for one extra minute already, but actually the next step of this recipe is to grill them. Since I don't have a barbecue going right now, I'm just going to pan fry them and then put them on a bun. I have the bun toasting already, but if you were at a barbecue, you could easily grill these. So I'm just gonna pan fry one of them and we will test it out in our toasted bun. Okay, I already feel like I could have chosen a thicker carrot because it looks very small and thin on the hot dog bun, but that's fine. I just have some plain mustard and ketchup here. Visually, other than the size, like the thinness of it, it does look like a hot dog. That's not bad. The flavor is really, truly on point. Like, wow. Basically, all you taste is the seasonings and is really, really tasty. My only problem now is that my carrots are definitely undercooked. They're just a little bit too crunchy to be passable as hot dogs. So I'm actually gonna put them back in the Instant Pot for another two minutes because they are just way too firm. You don't want them too soft. Of course, you don't want them mushy, but this is like, there's still a little bit of a crunch in there and uh, that's not good for a hot dog. So I'm just gonna recook the rest of those, especially because those are all a lot thicker than this one. So I'm sure those are even crunchier. But other than that, this is pretty good. So these are much softer. I mean, they're definitely still not mush, which is good, but I am able to pierce them with my fork. And I'm just gonna switch out this old one with the new one. And even though I did not grill it or pan fry it or anything, we're just gonna give it a little taste. That flavor is crazy. I mean, there is the slightest hint of carrot flavor, especially when you're eating it by itself. I don't think you're gonna fool anyone to actually think it's a hot dog. But that being said, when it's on a bun with all the condiments and you're just biting into it like this, you might not know right away that it's a carrot. 
As long as you get the texture right, that texture is important. Like I said, I'm giving you guys my real, true, honest feelings about this recipe. The taste is almost spot on for a hot dog. It is very smoky, it is a little bit meaty. The texture I do think needs to be improved. Like I said, I did mine for five minutes. I'm even thinking I could have gone six minutes. Maybe if I were to do them on the stove top, it would be a little bit easier to control how long to cook them for because you can check them a little bit more easily by just piercing them periodically with a fork. So I do think that's one advantage already for the stove top versus the Instant Pot. So for me, A++ on on the taste, the texture, I'm just gonna work and tweak a little bit for my own personal preferences. Definitely give this recipe a try. If you guys are still looking for some recipes for your upcoming 4th of July or summer barbecues, I'm gonna link his original recipe in the description box down below. You guys can go check it out. I'm sure we will be making these again this summer. These are a great whole food plant-based, oil-free hot dog alternative. And if you guys like barbecue recipes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I'm making new healthy vegan recipes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.